Will the Edmonton Oilers go to the Motor City and get their ninth straight win? Or will the Red Wings stop that big winning streak? Don Buster here from wagertalk.com. And we have a breakdown in this game coming right up. First, you will hand over to wagertalk.com as there's a 13 game NHL slate going tonight. And we have a promo code going super 20. That's super 20. And you can take 20% off any all access pass that we have up. So, and you'll want to do that tonight as we have, have a 5% release in the NHL tonight that we've actually had circled for about a month now. And as our clients know, and people that watch the puck time show, we have games circled for uh, large plays a month, sometimes a month and a half as we watch a ton of hockey. So head on over to wager talk, use that promo code super 20 and get 20% off the all access. Now Edmonton continues the road trip after having a really ugly win the other night in Chicago. The Oilers won 2-1 and had only 15 shots on goal. That's correct. 15 shots on goal. Uh, that's incredible for an Edmonton Oilers team that will probably in one of these periods tonight have maybe even more than 15 shots on goal. So it's just one of those games that they didn't play well, and that helps us here as well. Uh, now Detroit, though, they've been playing some uh, really nice hockey as well. Uh, they were on a three-game West road trip. Won all three games, including in L.A., which is a very tough spot to win. And here's the thing. The scheduler has done them a favor. They have had three days off, and you usually don't get that. After a road trip, you might get one. You sometimes get two, but I, you don't very, very seldom get three. At the end of the day, we just can't bet Edmonton at minus 180. But we with both teams on win streaks, you know what? That Again, there's just something after doing this NHL for a long, long time. I just have a funny feeling. You don't ever want to get in front of a win streak. Edmonton's won six uh, straight on the road. Like I said earlier, eight straight going for their ninth tonight. But when they come to Detroit, geez, they've had some troubles. They're 4-12 and 12, the last 16 games in Detroit. And I know that's a long trend, but, I mean, some of these trends, as I always say, they're a little bit more than just trends. So we're going to have to pass on the side in this game. What we are going to play is the over seven here. The last three games between these clubs have all went all over the total. The last four games for the Detroit Red Wings at home over the total. Detroit has gone over the total in eight of the last 10 games. Edmonton, ironically, has played a few unders, but they're an over team. And especially I like what happened last, the last game with Edmonton just really not having showing up any offense whatsoever. So you know they're going to be playing an offensive type style of a game. Detroit likes to play offense, especially at home. They average over three and a half goals a game, but they also allow almost three and a half goals a game. I think what we're going to have here is a total pond hockey type game with these two clubs. The last game they played last year was 5-4, and I like this game to go over this total. Uh, if you like this content that we do here, please give us a like and subscribe to Wager Talk TV. We have a whole schedule of, of um, shows that we put out daily from Monday through Friday, and it starts off with my favorite show, Puck Time. So go check that out over at Wager Talk TV. Hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, best of luck with all your plays tonight, everyone, and have a great day.